protected and hunters and gun collectors and those that enjoy that culture can have their freedoms like we all need to. Uh, there's there's got to be a good pathway and I'm glad we have people here with uh, uh, that are representing what they think maybe is a different side. We need both sides in the dialogue and yet the dialogue has to be a dialogue. It can't be just this is it. It has to be my way or no way. We have to all give a little and, and work at it because the idea of a universal background check has some proven good and nothing works 100%. Nothing in life. Do you know anything that works 100%? But if it works some percent, then it's worth working toward. And statistics show that in North Dakota in 2010, the number of suicides committed with firearms was 32% more than the national average and 103% higher than in states that require those background checks for private handgun sales. Now that, you gotta listen to that and think about that. The statistics show that between 2001 and 2011, the number of North Dakota law enforcement officers killed with handguns was 26% more than the national rate and 72% more than states that require these universal background checks. So those are statistics that say, that, oh, it's not gonna work in every single instance, but it will work some of the time, then it's one of the pieces of a bigger picture that we need to assemble together because we really have to start to find a way where we don't have these tragedies happening on a regular basis. I really believe we have to find a way where we have no more names. Today, these names are gonna be read. It'll take hours. Each one is a beautiful person. Somebody's son or daughter, somebody's mom or, or dad. And you know, the, the, num the ripple effect of each one of these deaths is incalculable. And so we need to find common sle sense legislation where we dialogue together and protect everyone's rights, but